How do all, and welcome back to Immersion Gaming. Right, um, so again, we've had a quick break after finishing The Last of Us Part 1. Um, as I've told you in all the previous games, once I finish a game, um, I finish all the episodes, I like to have a few days break, just so I can chill and do what I want to do for a bit. Um, because, basically, when, I, uh, when I'm uploading the games, I don't have any time to do anything I want to do. I know you're thinking, well, you sat playing the game, and I'm like, yeah, I am. But that ain't all I'm doing. I have to capture it, then remux it, then edit it and put all the uh, effects in it and cut all the bits out that I don't want and put the special effects and that stuff in. Then I have to export it. Then I have to upload it to YouTube and to Facebook. Then I have to write the descriptions on both YouTube and Facebook and all the other settings that I have to do. Then I also have to create a thumbnail for both YouTube and Facebook as to put on so when you scroll down you see it. So there's a lot more to it than just me sat playing a game and recording it. Um, so basically what I was saying is when I'm doing that I don't get time to do anything else. I do what I do throughout the day and then on a night I'm sat playing the game for, for you guys and then I'm recording it and doing all the other stuff that I've just told you about. So yeah, that's all I get to do. So once I've finished the game and it's all done and dusted, I like to then just chill for a few days, watch some films, watch some TV series that I like, or play my driving sim or whatever, you know, just do things I want to do for a bit. Um, and that's why I put the driving sim on. I did a driving sim video uh, a couple of days back just to show you the driving sim. Because I know I've mentioned it in a few of my videos in the past. Um, and I'm, I've, I've thought to myself, well, a lot of people won't even know what that is. So I bet they think, what's he talking about, a driving sim? Um, so now you know, that's the driving sim. Um, which I don't really get that much time to play, to be honest, because I'm doing this. Um, but at the end of the day, I enjoy doing it, so I'm not bothered. I'm not complaining about it. I'm just saying that's why I like to have a couple of days break after finishing a game, just so I can chill and do some of the things I want to do. So anyway, as I said to you when we played The Last of Us Part 1, that wasn't the, in the game that I intended to play last time. I was going to play this game that I'm, put, that I'm starting now. That was what I originally intended to play last time. But because The Last of Us Part 1 were already on my PC, and it's quite a big game, so it takes up a lot of space on my PC. Um, because what happened is, going back to when I first started the channel, I used to do things a certain, a certain way on YouTube, uh, and it was taking way too long to do it. It was taking me like three days per video to do it. Um, and it just wants sustainable. I just couldn't carry on putting that much time into a, to each video. Um, and not only that, then I started my own little laptop business thing um, for day. So I had a bit of a break for about six months um, so that I could reevaluate how I want to do the channel, but also so I could start my business. Now, when I had that break, I was halfway through playing The Last of Us Part 1. So it never got finished. I just left it halfway through. Because like I said, I can't keep doing it three days per video. So what I did is I just deleted the whole game from the channel because there was no point having half a game on there. Now I fully intended to play it again at some point. That's why I left it on my PC. Not only because people had watched it, so obviously I didn't want to just delete it and not let them see the other half of the game. Um, but because it's arguably one of the best storylines ever in a game, you know. So I think it deserves to be on the channel. So basically, yeah. So that's what I'm saying is. I had to put it on. It was already on my PC. It's taking up quite a lot of space. So I wanted to get it played so that I can finally get it on the channel and then get it off my PC, which is what I've done. So that was the last game we played. That's now off my PC. So that space has been freed up. And now we're going to play the game that I actually intended to play originally, which is The Invincible. Now, as with all the games I play and all the games I put on the channel, I don't know loads about it I don't know that much about it and the reason for that is as I've told you before is because uh, well for one I don't want spoilers so by watching any trailers or any reviews or whatever gameplay reviews and things like that you're going to see parts of the game so it's just going to spoil it for you um, and I don't want to do that I want to experience the game for myself you know without knowing everything that's going to happen beforehand and secondly because I don't look too much into it because I don't like to hear too many people's opinions on it, you know, because we've all got different opinions and we all like different things. So if I hear a lot of people uh, saying, oh, it's crap, it's a waste of money, it's the worst game ever, then I'm already automatically going to go into that game with that mindset and it's going to spoil the game for me. You know, that's the way it works. You know, you can uh, 
you can change your perception of something by hearing too many people say a certain thing about it. So I don't do it for that reason. So basically I just get to know the core basics of the game, what it's about. I need to make sure it's a, a story based game so it's, it's good watching for, for you guys so that I can put it on the channel and that's all I do. That's all I know. I just get to know the, the bare minimum about the story of it. So the story of this one, it's a sci-fi spacefaring sort of adventure. Um, from what I know, uh, in fact, let's just let's just see what uh, Alexa has to say about it, um, and then I'll just add my little bit. Um, so, Alexa, what is a detailed description of the storyline in the game The Invincible? From BG247.com. The Invincible is a retro future game about a scientist on an alien planet who goes on a journey to find their missing crewmates. Oh, thanks, Alexa. That's that, that, that definitely a detailed description of the storyline. Yeah, I think, I think Alexa's uh, getting a bit senile in her old age. Um, but anyway, the, the description I looked at before had a bit more information than that, you know, because it was a detailed description, which is what I asked for. Um, so basically, what I can gather is we're going to this planet that's called Regis Free. Now, Regis Free. Um, it looks a bit like Mars, to be honest. It's a big, barren, desert, red planet. Um, now, you play as a, an astrobiologist. Can't remember her name now, um, but she's a scientist, an astrobiologist, and you go with another team of scientists to this planet for some reason. Now, I don't know why they're going, because again, I haven't looked too much into the story. I just know the scientists and they're going there for some reason. Um, and something happens, things go awry, and they all end up scattered or missing or whatever so it becomes then like a rescue mission so you're then having to find out what the hell's gone on where the rest of your crewmates are and solve this whole big mystery on this planet um now it's not any sort of story that i've been told in films been that before because it has and, and i've always enjoyed them films that have been about that because it's just something that i find fascinating you know the thought of going to another planet because we only know what's possible and what's what you know, physics and everything, what is possible on this planet. We only know that, we don't know anything else. So if you're going out there into that vastness to all these different planets, anything is possible, absolutely anything is possible. Because we only know what's possible here. So yeah, that whole unknown and adventure just really, really appeals to me and I'm right looking forward to it, to be honest. Um, now, but on the flip side of that, I also suffer with anxiety. So and what I've noticed by watching this trailer is that they've done a really good job of portraying um, how it would feel to be out there alone, basically. So you and this team of scientists are out there on your own. There's no help coming, you know, because you're millions of miles from home. So if all happens, it happens. You, you're fucked, basically. Um, so with, with me suffering from anxiety, that would, <laughs> that would always be on my mind and it would blow my mind with that. I know for the fact it would. But also, what I've noticed on the trailer as well is when you go down onto the planet's surface and that, um, it, it's a first-person view game, so you're seeing it through the character's eyes as opposed to over the character's shoulder, which is third-person, for those of you who don't know. Um, so, yeah, because it's first-person through their eyes, you, you can see the uh, glass ball helmet thing that they wear, which is obviously keeping you alive. You know what I mean? Because it's pumping oxygen and that, in. and you can see like the microphone that comes down, which is obviously what you talk to your teammates and that with. But they do a very good job in portraying how claustrophobic that would be, because you've got to think of it that way. That that glass ball and your suit that you're wearing is the only thing keeping you alive, because everything else out there wants to kill you. You know what I mean? There's, I don't think there's any oxygen, or a, I, I don't know that. But why would they need to wear space uh, wear spacesuits if there's oxygen? You know. Um, so yeah, just how claustrophobic it would be to be stuck in that suit and know that if it gets smashed or if you get a rip in it or whatever, you're done. You know what I mean? So again, that would send my anxiety through the roof. Um, but, so it's a double-edged sword, isn't it? I mean, I'd love to go and do it. That would be amazing going on that adventure because there haven't been any adventures on this planet like that since the colonial days, since we were setting out on boats to go and discover new lands like the Americas and everything. Um, 
So that side of it really fascinates me and I'd love to do it, but I think the anxiety would cripple me. I really do think it would cripple me. Um, but anyway, so that's why I'm really looking forward to this game. I think the whole experience is going to be great. And as you're going to see now when I show you the trailer, it, it seems to have been really well done. Um, and that's what, for me, is the deciding factor of a great game, is how well it's written and the ambience of the game, the feeling of it, how it makes you feel. So anyway, I think without further ado, we will uh, crack on with the trailer, have a look, see what you think, and then we'll wrap this up so I can get it all done and dusted. Um, also, I want to say as well, it's, it looks amazing. You'll see from this trailer that it only came out in November 2023. So it's only been out, what, 10, 10, 11 months, something like that. So it's not that old. So the graphics look amazing. They look really, really good, the graphics on it. Um, and so I'm right, I'm, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. But you'll see what I mean now anyway, when you have a look at the trailer. So I think without further ado, here is a trailer for The Invincible. Down you go, oh bright sun. Time to let the night in For my legs are heavy And feel is not inviting Her legs become too heavy Hands become too weary Down you go, oh bright sun Night is not that scary So there we go, that was The Invincible. Um, as you can see, it does look really good. It does look really good. It's gonna be, uh, be a bit of a journey, I think. From what I've heard, when I've looked it up, it can apparently be finished in, I think it said six and a half hours, something like that, if you just speed run through it. Um, but if you're one of them people like me that likes to see all the little nuts and crannies and find all the extras and stuff like that, you're looking at more like nine to ten hours, which is perfect. Again, perfect for the channel, we should be able to get done in about five episodes, something like that, which is about right. Um, so yeah, I'm right looking forward to this one, uh, and I hope you guys are too. Now, I don't want to waffle on really anymore. I think I've waffled and chewed your ears off enough for what I've already said. So yeah, I don't want to just stand here waffling on. Um, you've seen the game now, you know what it's about. Uh, well, you know as much as I know what it's about. So if, it's, if it looks like something you think you might be interested in something that you think you might enjoy again it's just going to be like a film you know what i mean so yeah feel free to come and join us see what you think of part one it's monday today but it's already like eight o'clock now so at night so i'm not gonna have time to get it on tonight this trailer so i'll put this trailer on tomorrow which will be tuesday um and then part one of the game probably be on wednesday night so yeah, feel free to come and join us and see what you think of this story um, and I reckon it's going to be a good one. Just based on what I've seen, I reckon it's going to be a good one. So anyway, as always people, thank you for joining me. If you would like to support Immersion Gaming and support me on this journey um, so that I can really build this channel up into something special. I mean, I've got so many ideas, I've told you. Um, and it, they're only going to be able to be put into play if I can do this full time. And I'm only going to be able to do this full time if the channel grows. So yeah, if you want to support Immersion Gaming and help me make this somewhat special, which will then allow me to start spreading the love to my community, to the people that have followed and supported the channel, because um, a lot of the things I've got, the ideas I've got are, are including, in, including you guys, or giving something back to you guys for your support. Um, as always, I'm not asking for your money. I will never be asking for your money. It's not about that. All I'm asking for you is support. That's it. But for you to become part of the community. That's all I need from you guys, because then it helps build the channel up and helps me on this journey. So yeah, if you want to do that, guys, as always, it's completely free. So it's a couple of seconds of your time. And all it entails is it's as simple as this. If you can click the like button, the, un the thumbs up button underneath the video on either YouTube or on Facebook, wherever you're watching this, um, that would be a massive help. That helps with the algorithm, as always. 
If you could follow the Immersion Gaming Facebook page, that would also be very much appreciated. As always, that will help it grow, the channel will grow on Facebook, but it also allows me to start live streaming the games again on Facebook, um, meaning that you guys can interact with me as I'm playing the game instead of it being a pre-recorded video. But the biggest way to help Immersion Gaming, as always, is if you can click the subscribe button on the Immersion Gaming YouTube channel. Uh, again, it's completely free, it's never going to cost you a penny, and all it does when you click the subscribe button is puts our channel into your favourites on YouTube. It doesn't send you notifications or anything like that, it just simply puts our channel into your favourites. If you want notifications whenever I upload a new video, you click the bell icon. That'll send you a notification then when I upload a video. But just subscribing just puts our channel into your favourites. But to us, that is what's needed for this channel to grow and me to be able to put into play all the other ideas that I've got going ahead. So yeah guys, other than that, thank you for joining me. Hopefully you've enjoyed the trailer. It's going to look like something you might enjoy. And if so, come and join us for part one. Of, I think, like I said, it'll be probably Wednesday night. So until then, take care of yourselves and I will speak to you all very soon. Bye.